Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jenna, and we are going to go down the seller rabbit hole part two tonight. So before we get started, this is not financial advice. Don't buy anything based off of anything that I've said. Please always do your own research. We are going to talk about a bunch of things. Like I said, the seller rabbit hole runs really deep. Stellar is super cool. I really love the technology and everything. Um, but as in with any crypto space, you're going to have good actors and bad actors. And tonight, I'm going to let you figure out on your own what you think about some of these projects that we are going to take a look at. Um, I found a lot of things that kind of make me go, hmm, and... I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Also, there's some projects where I can't seem to find members of the team and I'm going to, you know, show these projects. And if you are a founder of one of them, I would love to hear from you. So please reach out to me because I'm really having a hard time trying to figure out exactly who you are. And I would like to know more about your project. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off, we have a video that I'm going to show you just a short clip of, of Emily Tang. If you don't know who Emily Tang is, she runs a QSI, which is a quantum seller initiative telegram chat. And she has a, um, she's been on a lot of different talk shows, podcasts, et cetera. Um, a lot of it is dealing with right wing conspiracy, blah, 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 blah. But I want to show you who she is, and we're going to go down the QSI rabbit hole. Okay, hey, this video is from March 26th of 2022. It is um, a podcast, XRP QFS team. Which we thought, okay, well, that has to do with budgeting and, and calculations and this kind of stuff. So maybe that's tied to the SEC lawsuit with XRP. But no, lo and behold, the freaking Sunshine Act is actually tied to Project Dunbar. And where is Dunbar located? I believe it's in Scotland, if I remember it correctly. Um, I made a post on it yesterday, so go, I can go back and check on it, right? So the, the most number of sunshine days in the whole world is Dunbar, and this thing is called Project Dunbar, and so it relates to the Sunshine Act. And why this is so, so interesting is, <laughs> so I'm getting super, super excited about this, you are familiar with, I know, you know, Tim's been talking about this, a bunch of other channels been talking about this, but Whip and I are massive fans of Indus Exchange. There's a whole collection of domains. It's probably up to like, I don't know, at this point, 50, 100 domains. I mean, it's, it's insane. And what a lot of people haven't learned yet is that these Indus domains are actually tied directly to the QSF. I'm sorry, QFS. Sure, and so, so there's Indus.exchange. There's another domain called cbdc-tokens.org. So weird. Yesterday when I tried to load this, it wouldn't even load. Growing into growing and into reality. The purpose of CBDCs is to trigger greater economic growth and innovation in the economy by providing a safe, secure, and instant way to transact. Central banks, da da da, da. Learn more about. Okay. The next generation of banking infrastructure. The next generation of banking infrastructure. All right, who runs this? Who made this website? The future of the world's money, blah, 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 blah. Those features, da, 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 da. Okay. There's not a lot on here. There's not a lot on here. Um, let's go back. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. XML as primary syntax. But then there's this statement. And because ISO 20022 is a free and open standard, anyone anywhere can add their two cents to the dictionary to help write and build solid business standards across the globe. Wait a minute. <laughs> that doesn't seem like it's anything um, a professional website would say. That was just weird for me. XML format compatible with new and old technologies, blah, 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 who benefits. 
so you can't click on any of these. This is just like an all informational website and literally it just has two pages. So guys, have you heard of the lobster wallet? Because you're going to need the lobster wallet to check some of this stuff out. I want to see what tokens are listed under cbdc-tokens.org. So I'm going to pull up my lobster wallet. And mind you, at this point in time, I don't know if these are real tokens or fake tokens. And we'll get into all that. If these are real tokens or fake tokens. But let's just see. Okay, so in my lobster wallet, I'm going to go to add assets. And this is kind of slow, but you must be very, very careful if you're not used to using the lobster wallet, that if you want to add an asset, you need to do it by entering in the domain name. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to buy any tokens that I find on here, but I do want to see what comes up from that website and I want to peep those tokens. So I'll go in and I will add the asset. There's a little plus up in the corner. If you don't know how to work your lobster wallet, there's plenty of different videos and tutorials on that. It's L-O-B-S-T-R. And that is how you add Stellar tokens. So let's see here. cbdc-tokens.org. So nothing exciting came up in my lobster wallet whenever I typed in cbdc-tokens.org. Let's pop back. And there's another one called quantum-system.finance. That's where my QSF was coming from a second ago. No assets. Website not secure. And you can't do anything with this. So far, dead ends. How do you set it up? How do you fund your account? And how do you trade it? How do you have trust lines? Blah, blah, blah. Recommended assets. Now, recommended assets. Recommended guys, assets. These are QSI recommended assets. Um, recommended Rick assets. Does a lot They're of vetting for his own stuff you. that he's been, you know, posting on his channel. And what I do is, of the stuff that he's posted or of the stuff that I've personally found on my own, I vet every single one before they land on this list. Emily vets every single one of these, and supposedly do people on her team. Now, first of all, this girl's really smart. I want to learn a little bit more about Emily. Do you want to learn more about Emily? Okay, cool. Because you know what? She seems like she's pretty knowledgeable. And then and then we'll get into the recommended assets. So let's just see if we can find Emily. All right. I found two LinkedIn profiles for Emily Tang. Um, super smart girl. And you can go through. You can read her different achievements. Um, there's not anything posted recently on here. If this one's correct, um, she went to MIT. I don't know if that's her. Security consultant, interest in coding, linguistics, education, technology. But I know that this is definitely her. We see her right there. Thought leader in the QFS system, ISO 20022, et cetera. Myers-Briggs INFJ. Hey, me too. So uh, that school is probably why I was attracted to dive in deeper. Now, you should know whenever I was Googling to find Emily, this popped up. And I can't say whether this information is true or false, but this is what came up with her name. And mind you, this female is extremely intelligent. Um, so would she have the ability to do these things? Probably. Did she? I don't know. That's for you to figure out, not for me to tell you. But Scam. Influencers intentionally loot millions from crypto community and pump and dump scam. So obviously I wanted to read this to check it out. Two conspiracy theorists, influencers have caused a lot of investors to lose crypto funds and pump and dump scheme. They presented a portfolio of cryptocurrencies with dubious claims about authenticity and institutional backings. These claims aim to be enough hype for the cryptos to raise their price more than they should be. The influencers are in charge of two telegram groups, Whiplash 347 and Quantum Stellar Initiative. They use these channels to promote fraudulent Stellar XLM altcoins, which the entire Stellar network has confirmed to be dubious. 
Whiplash and QSI operations. The first Whiplash group had 277,000 followers. And I was actually part of this. I'm still in it. I've been in it for a year. I used to think it was cool. Like there's this whole hidden world about Stellar that I don't know about. And I'm just going to put a dollar into every single one of these and see what moves, you know, but I did it for fun, knowing that half of it was probably BS, but there might be something that's actually something real that we don't know about, right? So, you know, I found that to be for entertainment purposes. Um, however, apparently, you know, some people did invest a lot of money and someone actually did commit suicide. We can't obviously blame these people for that, but, you know, these are the type of things that can happen. But apparently, um, Emily Tang and Whiplash 347 it is alleging that they, um, you know, create this portfolio of fake cryptos and white papers and the domains of these were supposedly linked with legit companies. Now, on that same video that I was watching earlier, Emily also claims that Elon Musk is behind the Dogat coin and Whiskey Tesla as well. Let's see. She also claims that she has deep government connections, et cetera, but I'm not sure why, if it's top secret information, they would be telling that to a media influencer. Doesn't seem to make much sense to me. All right. Okay, so you guys can go read up on those articles if you want to. They're out there circulating. It's not hard to find with Flash 347 scam. Emily Tang QSI scam. It's it's all out there. So, and like I said, can I prove that this is 100% correct? Well, no, I'm just letting you know what I found in my journey. So it doesn't mean that if it's not on this list, it's not good. It's just these are the ones that I've taken my own time to come and vet, either vet in or vet out. All right, so let's go check out this list, guys. So I've gone here to the QSI Resource Center, and I want to look to see what they are recommending because they might be legit, they might not be, but this is where you have to do your own research and find out because everything that someone else tells me, I take it with a grain of salt. I, you know, hear it, but I have to go do my own thing. When you have QSI resources, we will go to new stellar users like Emily was telling us, and there's all kinds of different information here. But right now, what I'm interested in is the recommended assets. And unless you're a financial advisor, you shouldn't be recommending assets to anybody. You just shouldn't be. All right. So one of the first ones on here is the beer token on Stellar Mint. So I went and I decided I was going to check out the beer token. So looking at this, Let's go to their homepage. Let's see. I remember seeing um, people promoting this in the Stellar community. Um, the concept is cool of a beer token, right? But why do you need it? If you're going to tip somebody and use it as a tipping token, why wouldn't you just give them XLM or XRP? That's my thing. But if you want to do this to like drive community, cool. But also I question, you know, who's on the other end draining this as people are getting tipped, you know, with these tokens, there's got to be somebody probably sitting there waiting, just, you know, taking the money out of it. It's possible, but I'm not saying it's definitely true. I also noticed beer token was now on tap on the XRP ledger, and they're also on Solana or going to be on Solana. I'm not sure if they've made one on there as well, but that was in their plan. Now I did check out on their beer directory. I actually called a couple of these places and um, actually got no answer. Now, I just wanted to see if people were actively using this token in their bar. I've had no luck with that yet. So we know that crypto is early, this is early, whatever, fine. But I would like to see a team. All right, so I already peeped the beer token white paper. I'm gonna pull it up here. Um, as I was scrolling through, I'm looking at their roadmap. Um, in it, something that caught my eye was the recovery program. And also I noticed that I can't find a team. And 
you know, unless it's an NFT project that is creative and awesome, and I just like the artwork, I don't require, you know, to know who made it. But when we're talking about a token or crypto, I would like to know who is behind it. But I know people still think it's the Wild Wild West and you don't have to do that. But if you are the founder of this, I definitely would love to um, speak to you more. And, you know, that would be great. I would prefer to talk to a founder, not somebody from your team who has chosen to be the face of this by a bunch of people who wish to remain anonymous. Like, I don't want to talk to a fictional cheese. I want to speak to a founder. So if you could come forward, that would be awesome because I would love to know more about your plans for Beer Token. That being said, you can scroll through educational portal, merch store. I don't know if they've made that business recovery program. This one is what interested me. Um, helping local businesses stay open with beer. The business recovery program is a relief program. What are you, a fucking government now? Designed to help local bars, pubs, clubs and licensed retail stores open and busy making it easy for loyal customers to directly support that you should have had somebody um, prove this and drive much needed funds back into the community so we recover faster together we have developed a range of point of sale materials for bars clubs pubs retail businesses etc okay so tips directory partners. I would also like to know who your partners are that you're collaborating with. Um, so NFT gallery, that's cool because why not? All right, moving on. Not that I'm overly impressed. Oh, this is the one that I called um, one of them. They would not answer. They're either busy or they don't want to answer their phone. KT House. Let's go to KT House. Real estate tokenization system. Now, it could be, it could either be really, really early right now for this, or, um, and that's why there's not a whole lot here, or it could just be bullshit. So let's just see, learn. Project informations. Um, you can just learn about what's going to happen here. The token will be offered through Stellar Dex. Um, you have to pass KYC. So KYC means you're legit, right? I don't know. The tokens will be held, will be freely tradable on Stellar Dex platform. Blah, blah, blah. Upon completion of the sale, each token will be reimbursed with the initial issue quote plus a yield that could be up to 15%. All transactions will be regulated in stable coin roadmap um okay there's not a lot here marketplace remember how they had made like fake white papers is what people were alleging with the whole scam thing like i mean i'm looking at this and i'm like step one uh-huh step two planning step three coming soon i don't understand this looks the same as step three so anyway that's all that's here for that one yet she is saying that and you have this influencer this um lady who supposedly knows a ton of things and she's really really smart mind you so that does make her a little extra dangerous saying that she trusts these projects why like do you know the people behind beer token do you know the people behind kt house or is is that you like what makes these trusted tokens and you update this site because i can't figure it out let's see now I do see Stronghold on here. I do like Stronghold, but that's because I did my research and I found out that it's a real project with a real team and everything like that. So just know you need to be super, super careful whenever you are jumping down this stellar rabbit hole because while there is a ton of crap to sift through, there are projects that are legit and gems. It's just like you just got to sift through it, right? 
let's check out another one, shall we? Let's go Tesla Whiskey Token, because this is a hospitality token allegedly created by Elon Musk. They have the domain here at StellarMart.org. Not sure what happened to StellarMart.org, but yeah, you, you can't use that. It doesn't take you anywhere. It's a dead end on there. But let's see what happens whenever you put StellarMart.org into your lobster wallet. Nada. Nothing on StellarMart.org, but let's change the org to com. Such a trusted token. Surely they wouldn't have this wrong. StellarMart.com may be what they meant to type. Now, when we put in StellarMart.com, whoa, guys. I mean, when I tell you that there are a lot of different tokens on here, there are a lot of different tokens. So, hang on. I mean, you can just scroll through literally just hundreds of different tokens that are on stellarmart.com. So many. Are they legit? I have no idea. Probably not, but maybe they are. It's not for me to say. That's for you to keep doing your research. So let's see. I want to try... So I tried the Tesla whiskey. That domain did not work. Created by Elon Musk. Here's your link to expert. So then I go look at it on Stellar Expert. And I find just like weird accounts doing weird things. Like look at this person. They allegedly just trades this all day long. Look at, look at all these transactions happening in, on one day. And it's all the same amount. Eight seven eight six eight seven eight nine. Is this is this how people drain it if another person buys it? Like look at all of these transactions. Is a bot? I don't know. Looks a little weird to me. QSI. All right, they have Lumen Swap on here, and I am familiar with the Lumen Swap project. Um, it is a decentralized exchange. And while there is an educator who has his face out there, um, the team, you still can't find much on them. But I do know that they are. Um, they did get funding from Stellar. And if you want to look and see what other projects have gotten funding from Stellar, you can easily do that on this website. Okay. Um, Communityfund.stellar.org. And on there, you can see all of the different rounds and all of the winners from that. And Lumen Swap was one of the winners. And I feel like it was back, this might have been like August of last year, a little bit before, something like that. Um, but you can keep tabs on these different projects and how they're developing and everything. So I would think that they would have had to KYC somehow with Stellar if they were giving funding to this, they wouldn't give it to anonymous people. So I mean, I don't really know how that works, but I do know that for some odd reason, we still don't really have any access to who the team is. I'll go here, documentation. Um, you know, I've noticed like this will take you to a telegram. Um, this Twitter account doesn't exist. Um, no followers, no following, takes you to something. This is just someone who's just a designer that's randomly on, you know, some website. Um, so I don't know. Just some people like to be anonymous and some people don't mind putting their money in those anonymous projects. And they give you different assets with rewards. Um, Aqua, I mean, I like that you can ch exchange all of your tokens that have like nothing, hardly any value. You can just swap those to Aqua. So there's something cool about it. But there's definitely projects on here that are worth checking out. 
I would like to learn more about exinium.io because it says it's backed by physical precious metals. Let's find out if it actually is. So there is a whole rabbit hole here, but things to remember, you must be super careful on a lobster wallet. Be very, very careful with how you type things. You want to make sure you get the domain right because you can enter in three letters and a whole list of them pop up. So you've got to be super careful. Some people like to add a bunch of these just for fun to do it and see what happens, but you need to be just super, super careful with what you're putting your money into. There are a whole slew of tokens that come up under this beer token. There's Cheers, there's Ninkasi, whatever the hell that is, Drunk Coin, Stout Token, Ale, et cetera. There's so many under it. What the hell is the point? Why can't you just use one token? Like, why? Why are there so many? I don't get it. I don't understand. I wish someone would help me understand. Here is another link for Emily. Um, this was her screen name. This was her Twitter handle, PatriotKX347. That's no longer active. A lot of crazy things there um, just to show you to really, really pay attention. Next, we're going to go down the rabbit hole of the quantum financial system and kind of dissect that piece by piece.